Now we need to get into the dining room. And it's actually a much more advantageous entry to open the door and head th Did I see something? Well, assuming that that patroller isn't around, which she is, I'll check the other entrance right quick, just in case. Otherwise, we'll wait for that patroller to leave and then try again. Alright. <clears throat> We can work with this. It's a little bit alarming to me that the kitchen door is standing open, but you have to take Hello, it as you find it. How are you then? Such are the rules of supreme ghosting. That door's usually closed, but there are three pieces of loot in here. Two goblets on the table and the candlestick on the mantel. Each goblet will trigger a red alert from our servant friend when she notices them, so... First thing I like to do is get to this shadow. It's a good place from which to operate. <laughs> What's that? He alerted because of the stupid cat. Unbelievable. Just goes to show you have to be careful of the cat. I really don't know whether she was alerting to the sound, or the cat, or if she saw me. I have to pay better attention. Oh. That's annoying. She's redoing her clean animation. That makes sense. Okay, okay. I'm good now. There you see it. Good evening. Things just don't disappear. I bet. Damn. Who's All right, I just don't know what the hell she's doing because from that point, she usually moves counterclockwise around the table, comes back to warm herself at the fire, then comes up to the table from this side and does a cleaning animation. Maybe I should just be patient enough to stand and watch what she does. Oh, well, that time she went left. <clears throat> That's the way she's supposed to go. That's the way she was, went every time on my practice run, so. And it's supposed to be my window to move up and grab the Jade Goblet off the table. Hmm. That's odd. Ran a little too far. Give me a break. Alright, I'm formulating a plan for what used to not be a hard spot at all. During her sneeze animation where her back's turned, I'm gonna get to the shadow by the pillar, and then as soon as she turns left, I'm gonna creep up on the goblet and nab it. There's phase one. Ugh, call that ale. So watery I could have filled up a tub and taken a bath in it. Ugh. Last time I tried that stinking <gasps> pub. Damn! Oh, this is more than one. Well then I can use the pillar as hard cover until she heads back toward the table from the fireplace. But I have to worry about Mistress Mastiff out in the hall. So, hey there. How are things? One last try. <gasps> Friggin' cat. Mm. 
Damn. All right, new plan again. Another new, next new plan is to get the goblet and then head back to the shadow by the study door. <sighs> the watch is getting to be a problem. Getting to be so that a guy like me has to conduct all of his business in dark alleys and smelly basements. Not fair, that's what. Alright. That Jade Goblet is worth 75. Brings my total to 66%. Finally. Alright, Mastiff is left. Now she'll yellow alert about the Goblet any second. Or not. In long time. How are things? No yellow alert. Weird. Uh, wait, I just hear where's my now? stuff? Well, now he noticed it missing. Okay. It could have been the wind I heard before. Uh, it wasn't nothing. Oh well. <sighs> well, that works. Alright, the gal is at the fireplace right now. Have a nice night. So I'll cross over behind her. Grab the copper candlestick off. Hmm. Am I imagining things? Did he see me? Really? Copper candlestick above the fireplace. Another 25. Brought my total to 66 or kept my total at 66%. How are things? <sighs> Oh, I see. He's looking Hello. left at her. Get lost. That's how he saw me. He was looking left. <sighs> Crikey. Too many variables to keep track of here. Anyway. Really? Where is it? Still need to get the ruby goblet. It's best to go after that when she's at the fireplace. Of course, with the door standing open, I also have to worry about the cook. So, let's hope he's not watching. The ruby goblet's worth 100. Brings my total to 69%. Well, maybe someone just moved it. But who? Wait for them to settle. That's a yellow alert because the goblet's missing. Isn't this just my luck? Just when I think my chores might be done soon, and now this. Whatever it is. Huh. Nothing. Good thing, too. Because if there was a mess or anything, I was going to get ugly real fast. <clears throat> So once they've settled, we need to move into the kitchen. Uh-oh. Ah! And in what's doubtless a, not a surprise to any of you, my timing was atrocious there. That's essentially, most of the time, the cook won't see you moving through that door. That's the one position he can be in where he will. <laughs> ah, well. Should be good to go now. Was that a noise? Oh, too fast. <laughs> Haven't even gotten any of the hard stuff yet. 
All right, made it into the kitchen. This is a safe spot. Let's read this note. Clams and noodles, captain's favorite. One pound clams, scrubbed and set in strong wine for an hour. One pound noodles, butter, one head garlic. Boil the noodles in the soaked clams, cook the garlic in the butter, toss, serve it up with more strong wine. Only two things to get in the kitchen. Up here, there's a ruby goblet, which I think we can reach without mantling or jumping on anything. Worth 100, brings my total to 71%. Inside the oven, there's a fire arrow, which we can reach without opening the oven, like you saw me do just then. I'll just wait for the cook to head west again, and we'll follow him into the other side of the kitchen. Later in the mission, we'll have the option to bring the widow one of these wine bottles. I'm going to decline to do that, because once she thanks us for it, Supreme would require that we bring the wine bottle back to the kitchen, and dropping it on the table would undoubtedly alert the cook. Plus. I don't mind sneaking around the thugs a little bit later in Garrett's home. Something to keep the coppers. Okay. So we want to get here. And uh, with all that done, I'm going to do a real save. Because we're coming up on what I do consider to be a hard part. Okay, we want to wait until we hear him moving away. Just so we can get through the door without bothering him. Okay, he's moving away toward the gallery now, so let's try. Oh good, that's what I was hoping for. So we can wall flatten in here, and then follow him toward the gallery next time he moves. Now this move mostly relies on a bit of trial and error, just because we want to sneak into the rotunda. That requires timing the rotunda guard, and that's basically just a matter of trial and error. Turned out fine that time. Alright, I'm going to tackle the loot in the gallery now. And I'm gonna leave the door open for our run later. Need food to keep my strength up. They should know that. So while he's turned around, he's down at the end. We want to move in here, and we actually want to leave that door open. We'll need it later, and I don't think it will trigger any alerts from these guys. Now this is the biggest problem in the mission if you're going for Perfect Thief. Evening. <clears throat> Who left this open? Okay, it did trigger an alert. I'll just close it behind me then. Closing that door behind you does trigger a green alert from the guy in the gallery. But because we have to come through the gallery to get the compendium... Right. That's what makes the mission unsupremable. We do have to close this door behind us. And that green alerts him, as you can hear. Some stupid noises. Alright, now 
that we're here in the North Gallery. You see our problem. We want to pick open this chest to get the Ruby Goblet inside. The problem is, this guy's looking right at it and he doesn't move. And distracting him isn't an option. So what do we do? <coughs> well, the answer is that saying he doesn't move is not quite correct. He'll s when the patroller in the hall outside comes by, sometimes he'll turn his head. Sometimes he turns it right when he comes into view. Sometimes he doesn't do it till the end. Here, you want a penny? Come and grovel for it. Like there. He turned his head to talk to the guy, and while his head was turned, I was able to pick the lock. Now he'll green alert again when I open and close the chest, but I can reach the goblet from the shadow. Is that a noise? That's another hundred. Maybe it was. Brings my total to 73%. And we're ready to tackle the upstairs. Anyway, I was, I was proud Just of- Just one of those noisy places, I guess. I was pretty proud of myself for, uh, figuring out that little maneuver. Anyway, he'll green alert again when we close this door. No way around it. Gotta hope the timing's good here. So for this, we can just head around this room the same way we did the first time. I'm gonna do a real save with that goblet gotten. Can't believe I got it on my first try. I guess it's because I practiced so much in the uh, practice run. But I got it down to... Basically got it down to a science. So now we want to move up these stairs. There's one guy patrolling around the staircase. He can be going either direction. He's going clockwise right now. But there's another guy who has the patrol endpoint up there we'll have to be careful of. On this first landing, there's a copper urn. <sighs> worth 100. Brings my total to 76%. Now I want to just follow. Thirty coppers. Thirty. I told him I'd need twice that much at the least. I'm standing by that. Follow the guard's route to get upstairs. Here's one of the alternate ways into Overlook proper. gonna wait off in this hallway until clear night I should be able to move in behind this fellow and break left now here on the second floor on the west side you can take that painting, it's worth 200. Brings my total to 80%. Can move in behind this guy. Go down to the bathroom. I'm gonna wait flush with the door until I see him leave so I know I have time to pick it open without getting seen. Alright. So this one is down, diagonal upright, left, upright, down left. It's the first lock I've dealt with that had diagonals. So inside the bathroom, you can take the Widow's Mirror, worth 125, brings my total to 83%, and it's the third special loot item, so we've completed the objective, find at least three special loot items, three found. As we go into the bedroom, 
There's a note to read. Ginny, if something happens to me, if I'm lost at sea or am unable to return for some reason, then make sure Edwina listens to the message I recorded onto that old mechanist Victrola I put in the master bedroom. It's a sort of talking machine, and all she needs to do is turn it on and she'll hear my voice and my farewell to her. Yours, Captain Moira. P.S. Make sure no one else is in the room listening when she plays it. The farewell is just for her. So I get a note that says, Lord Moira left a message for his wife on the Victrola in the master bedroom. So, if you startle the cat, it sometimes commits suicide in the fire, so I'm gonna give it a wide berth. I'll play the Victrola. Edwina. Oh. This is your Robert speaking, and I have some important things. To say to you. First off, you must send anyone away who might be attending you. Yes, even Ginny. I have left some things for you. Safe in a secret room. The coin I have saved over the years. And an odd item I discovered recently. If I don't return from this next voyage, go to my study where I have hidden a small switch. The switch will temporarily open a secret door in the North Gallery. Make good use of what you find there. And always remember that I am your devoted husband, Robert. So that gives us a new objective which is to use the hidden switch in the study, then get to the North Gallery before the secret door closes. The North Gallery is on the first floor of the Overlook proper, directly below the master bedroom. Now- A secret room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. The cat's committed suicide every time. I thought maybe I could stop it. Yeah, probably can, but I don't care. Doesn't bust ghost. So we open the chest, inside is a diamond necklace worth a hundred, brings my total to 86%. And I'm gonna head back out of here the way I came in. Wait until I see the guard so I can move in behind him. cross back. I usually go counterclockwise because that's the direction the guy with the bow usually moves. Even if it's not, even if he comes clockwise this time, I've got these niches to hide in. But he's going counterclockwise like usual. So now I need to be sorry they mess with Still need to hit the east wing of the second floor. <gasps> hey, I'm pretty sure I... Well, forgot about that guy. So I'll just wait a beat and then move in behind him over to the east wing of the second floor where there's a few little things to pick up and some conversations to listen to. Alrighty. Down the stairs, dude. Evening. Evening to you. Now I'll break right. I'm gonna move fast in here because one of the conversationalists patrols into here when she's done. Right, left, up, down. Ruby ring, 75, brings my total to 88%. Oil flask on top of the shelf. So she'll move out here. The 
woman will head into the bedroom we just cleared, and the man will move around in here. We need to get up those stairs behind him. We're heading up to visit the widow. She'll talk to us even though she doesn't see or hear us, which is fine. I'm just grabbing a key up here. Like I said, I'm not going to bring her Did the wine she asks for. Ginny? Ginny, come quick. I heard a sound. Like a voice carried on the wind. It was Robert, I'm sure of it. Bryant tells me you've left a message for me on the Victrola. Really, Robert? Can't you just tell me yourself? That silly Victrola annoys me. Why must we have that ugly mechanist thing crouching in our bedroom? If your message is really so important, then... Then you'll tell me yourself. At dinner. Yes, dinner. I'll have Cook prepare all your favorites. You must be... A friend of Robert's, perchance? One really ought to recognize one's own guests. But the fog has been so thick lately. Would you... Could you somehow find it in your heart to fetch me a glass of wine? The servants have forgotten. Wine, huh? <laughs> Chilly night. I could go for something warming myself. So that does give us the note that the widow would like some wine. But as I said, I'm not gonna bother. If you want to do that favor for her, Did you, hear that? you can. Jimmy? You need to run Jimmy, down to the kitchen, grab one of the voice. junk Carol. bottles off the table. It was Robert. Just carry it up to her and drop it onto her table. I thought that was going to be a problem. Music. All that's left, if you're wondering, is to work our way downstairs and get to the captain's secret room. That can be a serious pain, but in the end, it's just a matter of managing to get good timing on all of the AIs, which is hard. So I'm going to wait for the man to head back to the window and move in behind him. Did I see? Damn it. Anyway, as I was saying, it's just a matter of properly timing all of the AIs, which is tough, but doable. Oh, he didn't look that time. Wonderful. Did you hear that? So as you can see, our patroller has switched to direction, which is odd, and the conversationalist has added herself to the mix, the one who was offended by the douchery of the other two. So we have three patrollers to worry about now on the staircase. It can be pretty hard to time all of them. I don't think I'm going to pull it off. Yep, didn't think so. She's gone for a while when she heads downstairs, though, so... I can probably wait to move in behind the... the other gentleman as he makes his journey around the staircase. This is a slightly better position. Although it's still tough to track everybody, but... I'll do my best. I think he switched directions again. <laughs> nope. I was gonna say I thought he was much closer than that, so I thought he had switched directions again, but seems like they just had some had some issues shuffling around each other when they met on the staircase. So There he is. Alright. I still have to worry about the archer too. How goes it then? Give me a break. A few more afternoons at the practice yard, and I'll get it. Just saw. Damn! If he hadn't <laughs> turned his head, I was about to break down, bust it down the staircase on my left. But when he went to, 
greet the archer. I knew he was coming, so thought it might be wise to try and move in behind him. But then that head turn hey, screwed me up. Okay, they're looking at each other. They're looking at each other. They're done. This is a much better spot to be in. Gradually work my way down. The offended woman is on her way up. I think she's going to spot me. Nope. That was close, but I made it. So now the challenge is getting to the secret room. Now try for luck first. I thought I saw. Yep, not Just gonna happen. I might be able to uh, take the secret passage to get in behind her, so I'll try that. Well, it's not a secret passage, it's a crawl space. I'll try that next. Of course, it's hard to move fast enough. It really is. Then we break left. Wait for Homie to turn around. Oh, it's bad timing on that guy. Shoot. That would work if we could get across the hall. Hmm. You know what? I've I've decided it's possible. I'm gonna try that again. Save myself the crawl space grief. I'll take a green alert. Since we can't supreme it anyway. There we go. Why am I so paranoid? So that completed the objective to use the hidden switch in the study, then get to the North Gallery before the secret door closes. The North Gallery is on the first floor of the Overlook proper, directly below the master bedroom. So I'm gonna real save with that done. The green alert we took when we shut the door to the gallery behind us was unavoidable. I took one extra one because I made a little noise, but I don't care. Send the elevator back up for Supreme. Head through here. We're just about done now. Let's read the note. That's got to be the compendium. Edwina, if you're reading this, it's because I am gone, but fear not, for I have provided for you. The money in the chest will keep you surrounded by servants. There's a golden slab, too, but it's a mystery to me. It could be some kind of fool's gold or enchanted. You won't need it, though, not with that chest filled with coin. Yours forever, Robert. So that gives us a note, which is, I think, designed to make us feel bad. The note says... The widow needs the money in the chest in the captain's secret room to survive, but she doesn't need the compendium. So first I'll grab the compendium, which of course completes the objective to find and steal the golden slab known as the compendium of reproach. There's one piece of loot left, 
It's the coin bag in the chest. We have to take it on expert in order to complete the 90% objective. So, I honestly feel bad for the widow, but my objectives are forcing me to do this. So you grab the bag, it's worth 500, brings my total to 100%, and completes my objective to steal at least 90% of the loot. 100% stolen. So, with that done, if you head through this door, you'll find a load zone, which takes us back to Overlook Grounds. And it's pretty cool to see exactly where it takes us. We have to worry about one guard, but it takes us all the way back down to the boathouse tunnels. So I think he's moving away right now. Good timing. So close it behind me, bust it down the hall, get back to the elevator and ride it down. And soon enough, that'll be it. Head back to our rowboat. You're about to end the mission. Do you want to continue? I've stolen the compendium, but I can't read it any more than Captain Moira could. I'll have to bring it back to the Keepers. Besides, I want to see the look on their faces when I hand it over. They've been searching for years, and I found it in one night. <clears throat> yep, we're awesome. So let's look at our stats. Difficulty expert, time 49 minutes. Loot stolen, 4200 out of 4200, 100%. Times caught, zero. Opponents blackjack, zero. Opponents killed, zero. Stealthy kills, zero. Non combatants killed, zero. Locks picked, eight. Pockets picked, zero. Bodies discovered, zero. Damage taken, zero. Healing taken, zero. Total for game, time elapsed, 361 minutes. Loot stolen, 14,525. Times caught, zero. Opponents blackjacked, one. Opponents killed, zero. Stealthy kills, zero. Non-combatants killed zero. Locks picked 48. Pockets picked 26. Sorry, I need to write these down. Alright, bodies discovered three, damage taken zero, healing taken zero. Yep, that's all good. If we look at our gear as we leave, we've got the blackjack, the dagger, 25 water, 30 broadhead, 5 noisemaker, 20 moss, 5 gas, 14 fire arrows, 11,500 cash, 2 explosive mines, 4 oil flasks, 4 holy waters, 10 health potions, 20 flash bombs, 4 gas bombs, no new upgrades, eye, door glyph, lock picks, climbing gloves, bow upgrades for broadheads and moss arrows. Quest items, we've added a couple keys in the Compendium of Reproach. And loot, we've got 4200. That's it. I'm going to hit continue and it'll spawn us in the Keeper Library. So I'll see you there. So we start here in the Keeper Library. I guess this is the Acolytes' quarters, maybe? Anyway, if we go to our objectives, we have completed the objective to find a boat in the docks and take it to Captain Moira's seaside mansion to steal the Compendium of Reproach. The notes are for the Pagan Favors, the Hammer Favors, and our landlord being blackmailed. Still can't attack the Keepers, now we need to Search the sewers in the docks to locate the entrance to the sunken citadel in order to find the missing glyph key that the keepers are searching for. So with that, I'll do a real save, and next time we'll tackle day four in the city. That's it for now. Bye-bye.